Hello, it's Jason Payne for JDP Realty Group, a coal banker, Dean Hopper Realtor. Well, today I'm at the community of Manor Creek in New Braunfels, Texas, just off 46 and real close to, well, pretty much everything. The uh, Manor Creek is a DR Horton Emerald Series community with some larger lots. Let's go check them out. All right, when I mentioned larger lots, this is almost a half an acre. It is 0.419, and a lot of these lots in here will be close to half an acre. This house is on the market right now for 551 as of early December 2021. But the amenity center and pool, playground area, I'm gonna do a little video of that at the end of this tour. But we are right off the main road coming into the community. That's what you see in front of us here. And this is a corner lot. This is also a three car garage and I'll show you the inside of the garage as we get in there. This house is not completely finished yet, but it's close, so there's gonna be some more touch-ups, works to be done. But uh, yeah, let's head on inside. Large, well, tall entryway coming in. A big old eight-foot door. Get the little combo lock. All right, right when you come in, you got this little round Space, a little nook to put something in. And when you look up to the ceilings, you've got the tray ceiling, and hopefully you don't get too dizzy, but there's the little round circular stuff. They've got kind of a builder's grade light fixture in there, but it'll be really a nice accent if you upgraded that. This house does have 26 14 square feet, and this is a four bedroom, two and a half bath house. We have a, let's see, yep, it does have a closet. So this is gonna be considered one of the bedrooms. But the big window right up front. And this is gonna be a Jack and Jill kind of setup where this room will have their own sink, but you're gonna share the shower tub combo. And they took the tile all the way up. There's the toilet, and then you can close the door, and this other room will have their own sink as well. And decent sized bedrooms. Like I said, decent windows in here. A little view from uh, this bedroom. Like I said, good sized lawn. So regular closet. All the doors in this house are eight foot doors. The flooring, this is gonna be a wood-like tile. All right, we haven't got to the main section yet because we wanna make a detour here. All right, we do have the laundry room kind of up front. We're coming in from the garage. Let's go ahead and poke our head in the garage now. But the laundry room does have some cabinets in it. This is a three car garage, plenty of space. It is gonna have a, uh, oh crap, I'm trying to remember the name of it, the tankless water here, thank you, and uh, plum four water softener. You also have a powder room for the general public, right up toward the front of the house. And this is a little unique of a room. It looks like it can be a game room, party room. And the reason I say party room is it's got a little wet bar kind of set up. I was looking for some lights, but I didn't see anything. I would definitely want to put some undermount lights there or some backlit those cabinets if I wanted this as a little bar slash lounge area. Or had the ability to black out the curtains and make this a little uh, media room space. It'd be a small media room space, but uh, it can be done. But you'd also want a carpet in there too if you're trying to watch movies, because that echoes pretty good. But we're also echoing because it's an empty house. This is gonna be your formal dining room with a neat little tray ceiling set up, lots of windows. And now we come into the great room space. Once again, the tray ceilings with some uh, can lighting. 
give me that extra lighting. Sorry, I couldn't get that light switch to come on. But plenty of space in here with a large kitchen area, double stack Whirlpool ovens with the microwave up top. I am 5'9", let me put this right at my camera eye level. So you would be having to kind of reach up a little bit, but it's not too bad. It's kind of like where my microwave is at home. But yeah, but definitely the two dual ovens. Let's go ahead and open that up for you. So there you go. A little smart technology there. Well, let's check out the rest of this kitchen. This is a gas community. So you do have fire burner gas. Let's see, where's the light? There we go, that looks better. Lots of cabinet space underneath. Spot for the refrigerator. And a really big island. With, like I said, y'all know I like my sink. Sorry, it's a little dirty. But a single basin uh, granite sill sink. All right, we've got to check out the pantry. Nothing fancy, just a corner pantry. All right, let's go and check out this outside area. You do have plenty of space for a breakfast nook. So if you did want to convert that formal dining room into something else, you could. Uh, you do have the sun setting on the back of the porch, so, but with these trees here, it's just gonna be a very limited time for that sun's getting you because I stepped forward a little bit and you don't have it. But because this is almost a half acre lot, you do have uh, plenty of uh, space back here. And some beautiful, uh, looks like mostly cedar trees, but cedar trees cleaned up like this, they still look nice. We do have an attachment plumb for gas. And like I said, well, the builder's great light there because they anticipate the buyer of this house putting in their own ceiling fan light combo. All right, let's head on to the owner's suite. Large opening there. And this is a big bedroom with a view of those trees. Once again, they have the tray ceilings with uh, extra can lighting built in. And they've got the ceramic tile going all the way into these bedrooms. We do have dual vanities. They got the dark granite there. And a good size walk-in mud inset shower. So you're doing a little step down into that. And they carry the tile all the way up to the ceiling. Big soaking tub. And then you do have your water closet back here, a linen closet right to the next, but this is the closet you're looking for, the master bedroom closet. Good size master bedroom closet. Kind of curves around a little bit, but yep, nice little space. And remember, if, you, if this wasn't enough space, it's not too big of a task to kind of raise this one up higher, making this a double. But then you have to remember, you're not gonna have any other space to uh, put the long dresses on. So yeah, up to you, because you do have this double going on this whole wall here. Quick 
shot of the rest of this, the main living space. And it's nice having the fireplace off to the side. They've got it plumbed in the wire for putting a TV up there or down below here on this wall. Let's head on out and we're going to do a quick look at the amenity center, uh, the pool and stuff out here. And then we'll come back in and wrap it up. This is a good look at the driveway of the house we were just in. And for insurance purposes, always good to know where the fire uh, hydrant's at, right across the street. But like I mentioned earlier, right across the street is the amenities for this community. You do have a little playground area, but I want to check out this pool. See what this looks like. It is, like I said, uh, I believe we're at 4 December, so the pool's obviously not going to be open right now. But yep, nice little pool section. And it looks like they got some changing rooms. Well, this is a really nice little community. If you're looking for a little bit bigger lots, not a bad place to be because there are definitely some uh, good sized lots here. Like I said, a lot of them are gonna be right around half an acre. There's some big, beautiful homes in it. All right. All right, let's wrap a tour of this beautiful home built by D.R. Horton in Manor Creek subdivision. I really like the location of this community because as y'all know, I really love New Braunfels, Texas, and this gives you access to everything New Braunfels, Texas, right at your fingertips. Anyways, this house just came on the market as of two days ago. And remember they're asking, $551,787, kind of an odd number there. But anyways, if you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and always share these videos with your friends and families. And also, if you're looking for a house, don't do it on your own. It costs you nothing for a buyer to use a realtor. So don't hesitate to reach out to me. I can leave my, uh, a link to my scheduling app in the description. Just click that and we'll schedule some time together. All right, talk to you soon. Take care now.